Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, in this video today, we're going to be discussing Thai work permits, specifically the registered capital requirements with respect to Thai work permits. So this kind of is a point of confusion for people that don't understand what we're talking about. Basically, uh, in Thailand, a company that wishes to hire a foreign national and obtain a work permit for that foreign national to work here in Thailand needs to main, needs to adhere to certain regulatory requirements for uh, registered capital or maintain certain other paid up tax requirements and some things like this. So what are we talking about? Well, first off, um, let's just talk about a straight, normal, single foreigner who's coming into Thailand and wishing to get a work permit. Uh, the company that wishes to hire that foreigner needs to have 2 million baht in registered capital um, as a registered capital requirement. There are other requirements. Um, for more information about Thai work permits generally, please check out the rest of this channel. There's a ton of stuff about Thai work permits, but specifically for registered capital requirements or capitalization requirements, um, the, foreign the foreign national needs to be uh, represented by 2 million baht in registered capital in order for a work permit application to be submitted. Um, now, let's take that same foreigner and hypothetically change his situation to he's now married to, or she for that matter, um, they are now married to a Thai national. Well, under those circumstances, that individual now only needs to um, be paired with 1 million baht in registered capital in order to obtain a Thai work permit. Again, just specific to the capitalization requirements. Finally, a person who has Thai permanent residence, uh, so-called blue book here in Thailand, or red police book, permanent residency here in the kingdom, there is no capitalization requirement. So to hire that individual and to get that individual work permit, there is no minimum registered capitalization requirement with respect to that individual. There are some sort of more, uh, less well-known sort of, ex it, not exceptions, but differentiations with respect to capitalization requirements, or I should say financial requirements with respect to Thai work permits. So aside from this sort of pairing one off to two million or one million or whatever in, within the registered company structure, there's also, um, if, let's say, if that doesn't apply in a given situation, um, a, f a company here in Thailand can hire one foreigner if its total corporate income taxes paid um, has been at least 5 million baht for the previous three fiscal years. So over the course of the pre previous three fiscal years, if the enterprise in question is paid 5 million baht a year, then you can go ahead and do it. Okay, you can go ahead and apply for a work permit. I should say past three years. So. So for every paid, for every amount of paid 5 million baht, the company can hire one foreigner. Again, this is if registered capitalization requirements don't apply. Um, if, if the enterprise in question has exported and brought into Thailand revenue of 3 million baht or more in the prior fiscal year to the application year, then it may be possible for that enterprise to go ahead and hire a foreign national here in Thailand and obtain a work permit for them. Um, for every 3 million baht in additional revenue on that export company, another work permit can be added, but it maxes out at 3. There's a cap, okay, for that type of thing. That, that's, this requirement seems to be sort of created specifically for so-called export-only companies here in Thailand. Um, and then finally, if an enterprise has 50 Thai employees, um, just in general, if there are just 50 Thai employees sitting on the books of a given enterprise, then it's possible to hire a foreigner under those circumstances. Again, there's a cap, five foreigners total. So one to every 50, with five being the max, 250 employees uh, being the pair off. So something to think about with respect to work permits. Um, there are the generally accepted uh, registered capitalization requirements, and then there are these sort of I won't call them anomalous, but rather less often utilized um, capitalization or financial requirements, which will allow for the application of a work permit on a given company here in Thailand. 